Jeremiah 30 and 16. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Jeremiah 30 and verse 16. It talks about how God will deal with our adversaries. It says, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all your adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. They are physical adversaries, spiritual adversaries. Those that are opposing that which God wants to do in your life. Even before the end of this year. God says they will go into captivity. So say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every opposer of my destiny, every antagonist of my blessing, every attacker of my future, every adversary, every foe of my destiny, of my children, of my life, of my business, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have said in your word that you will give me a mouth that none of my adversaries will be able to resist. So, Father, I open my mouth right now and bind and put a stop to every trafficking of adversaries in my life. I say thus far and no more. I bind you. I bind your oppression in my life, in my business, in the lives of my children, in my relationship, in my career. I say be bound in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up that prayer point that every adversary, every opposer of your progress, every one of them be spiritual or physical, that they will remain bound. They will not be operate, they will not be able to operate again. We paralyze them in the name of Jesus Christ. We paralyze their oppression in our lives right now in Jesus' my name. All those that are disturbing us, if they will not repent, they will not see the new year. In the name of Jesus Christ, every adversary of our progress, every opposer of our destiny, we bind you. We bind you. We say seize your oppression in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say a better amen.